Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through WordPress for beginners on Hostinger.com. Now, I'll drop a link in the description where you can check out more details and receive special discounts. Alright, so let's get into the video. Now the important thing to note and the reason I'm making this tutorial is because Hostinger does some things a little bit differently than other hosting platforms when it comes to WordPress. All of these good platforms, they always have a slight bit of customization when it comes to their platforms specifically and how they host WordPress and other CMS systems like that on their platform. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to today take you through the setup, take you through the basics of Hostinger WordPress. All right, so so as you can see right here, we're on this web page right here, and right now what we're going to do, this is my dashboard. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this, and I'm just going to go through the motions of setting up my WordPress settings once I've already claimed my free hosting or domain. So as you can see right now, it says premium shared hosting pending setup. What we're going to do is we're just going to click setup right on that. The reason being is once it loads, we're going to go and we're going to see this page. This page is essentially where hosting or to make it super simple for their customers is is going to walk you through every single step you need in order to set WordPress up on your website. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit start now. Now the first thing we need to do is choose our domain name. Now in my previous video where I showed you how to pick a free domain name, how to get that, how to redeem that essentially, I picked a domain and this is the domain I picked. So what I'm going to do is instead of using an existing domain, we're just going to go ahead and choose this domain right here that we already set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit that, hit select. Now, if you do have an existing domain, you could always select that as well, but I'm not going to take you through that today. What we're going to do now is we're going to select build a new website because I don't have any website I want to migrate. So once I hit that, then it's just going to ask, have I ever built a website before? Now, I personally have, so I'm just going to select, yes, I have experience. But if you haven't, you can just select, no, it's my first time, and they'll make it a bit easier for you. So I'm just going to select, yes, I have experience. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to select WordPress right over here, most popular setting, most popular platform. So we're going to go ahead and hit select. From here, it's just going to let me create a WordPress account. You're going to be able to put in your email address and your password. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick and then hit continue. Now, once I hit continue, it actually lets me choose a look, choose a theme for my website. The reason this is really nice is it basically lets me, you know, go through all these different themes here and say, hey, I want a certain theme. Hey, this looks nice on my website. So I can also hit show more or I can just hit skip. I don't need a template. What I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to pick one of these websites. Now I'm just going to hit show more so you can see that you can look through more of their themes, figure out which one you want, find one which you like and which you think will fit your website. Now let's say I'm a musician. So I'm just going to go ahead and select this page right here. And then it just goes to finish setting us up. So from here, all I have to do is this is just the general information of the website, general information, the location, the domain name, the email address, all that stuff, the CMS, the theme, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit finish setup. Now, once I hit finish setup, it's going to load and it's just going to initialize the setup for a bit. It'll take less than three minutes for you to complete this. So I'll get back to you as soon as it finishes. All right. So now, as you can see, my website is ready. It just finished loading. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go right to the WordPress dashboard and just hit manage WordPress. Now it's going to open a new tab. It's going to start loading it up for me. And then I'm going to be able to log into my WordPress dashboard and I'll go ahead and give you some tutorials. Now, as you can see, it actually logged me in for me. It automatically logged me in to my WordPress dashboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take you through all of these things, all of the settings they have, and just kind of give you some information on how you should use this and how you should go through this when you're using Hostinger. Now, the first thing you need to notice is they already installed Elementor, Optin Monster, all-in-one WordPress migration, templates, WordPress forms, and a few other plugins. If you want to see all the plugins they automatically gave you, just go ahead and hit the plugins page and it'll show you the automatic plugins when it loads. It'll show you all the plugins which they already installed and all the ones that are activated. So as you can see, they have all-in-one SEO, all-in-one WordPress migration, Elementor, Google Analytics, Hostinger, a Hostinger plugin, which is, you know, the custom dashboard, all that stuff, Lightspeed Cache, Optin Monster, Starter Templates, and WordPress Forms Lite. 
Now, all of these come with your WordPress setup, your initial WordPress installation. If you're just doing this raw on your own hosting server or a hosting server that doesn't provide all these, then you're not going to get all of these setups, all these fancy things, all these fancy additions. But with Hostinger, they do provide all of that free of charge. Now, what we're going to do before we get into it is I'm just going to hover right over here where it shows my site name and go ahead and right click on the visit site and hit open link in new tab. What this is going to do is I'm just going to click it right here. As you can see, this is our website currently. This is the um, the template which we decided to pick. It's really nice. Let's say you are a musician. This would be a template which you could easily customize for your use. So now what we're going to do is let's just go ahead and hop into customizing this for my own use. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit this customize icon right at the top of the page from here it's just gonna load up a bit it's gonna take a little time and now we are into our customizing dashboard as you can see it all loaded up what we're gonna be able to do is we're gonna be able to you know edit some of these things change them up a bit stuff like that now if you notice one thing is when I'm hovering over this like this um, header right here there will be little edit icons pop up now you can navigate to those edit icons through the menu but if you just want to hit the edit icons it'll automatically open the area in the menu where you can change that so yeah basically all you have to do is just hit this edit icon right next to the logo or the menu or whatever and it'll go ahead and bring you into the settings as you can see here where you can change all those settings about the menu all those settings about the logo but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and close out of this and we're gonna go back to our dashboard right here from here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to the pages where they already set up a bunch of pages because we installed a template so all we have to do is we just have to customize these pages and it will perfectly for us so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit edit on the home page now if you notice when this pops up it's gonna be a bit different it's gonna be a bit different than what you would normally see because after closing this out we're gonna see a button that says edit with Elementor what this means is that your website is actually built on Elementor the Elementor add-on which is really really convenient that they give this to you so we're gonna go ahead and hit that edit with Elementor button and it's gonna go ahead and start loading it now Elementor in case you're not familiar is just a plugin which allows more customization of your WordPress website. Because as you can see here, here's our WordPress website. Now what we can do, instead of the normal way which you would edit WordPress pages, what you can do is you can just hover over whatever you want and change it. For example, we're gonna change this to my name, which is Carson. So we're just gonna put Carson there. And what we're gonna do here, as you can see, is just type professional web guy. Because what this is, is this is essentially letting us customize this website. Now Elementor, obviously, as I said, is a bit different different but because you installed the template you won't have to worry about all the specific extra features which it adds you'll just have to click and edit drag and drop it's really that simple let's say I wanted to delete the biography title and I just thought I wanted to have the biography I would right click and just go ahead and hit delete and as you can see it removes it as simple as that now when you're finished editing your home page what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and hit update now once it updates I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to my website go back to my dashboard and on my dashboard I'm just gonna take you through a few more different things which you can do so the first thing you can do is you can go ahead and click on Elementor and it'll give you a few more options on your pages and posts you can go through general style advanced experiments you can go through all of those settings and then you can also look at like the custom fonts custom icons which Elementor offers now another important thing which you're gonna need to know is how to add posts so if you want to add a post you just go to under posts and you hit add new post post as you can see I already added one so let's just go ahead and click edit on that all it is is it's a really basic post that says hello world and you'll be able to add posts automatically if you want then once you do that all you're gonna have to do is hit publish here instead of update and then publish again and it will publish to your website now back on your dashboard depending on what page you want to edit you're just gonna navigate to pages and you're gonna find all the pages and it will show all of them to you so you can pick which one you want to edit it's really straight forward it's really good it also has descriptions and titles there which you can edit because those are the SEO details so let's say if I want to change the title I can edit it and change the title which is really really good I can also edit the description of that page all of these features are hosting or specific because of the plugins they give you which is really really nice 
Speaking of plugins, if you want to add plugins, just navigate to the plugins tab and then click add new. When you click add new, you'll be able to search for new plugins and add them to your website. Let's say you wanted a classic editor. All you have to do is click install now. And then once it's installed, it'll show an activate button, which you can press to activate it. Now that's pretty much all you need to know in getting started on your website. You just have to basically customize all the pages in the template you get with your hosting or installation, which is really nice because you don't have to do any advanced work, advanced technological installations or anything. It's just really plug and play. Well, thank you for watching. Now, if you do have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to respond. Also, just a reminder that I do have a link in the description where you can view more details about this and receive special discounts. Well, thanks for watching. Till next time and have a great day.